So a few months ago, I made a machine that could cut some apples, put them in a bowl, and add some raisins and cinnamon into the mix. And a video about it. And it like this. I may or may not have built a robot arm that uses a fork to feed me. arm uses four motors to rotate, load, lock, tilt and shoot the fork into a piece of apple to then use the same four motors to tilt and rotate the fork towards me. I am aware that there may be easier ways to make a robot that can feed me. For example, using a treadmill to move pieces of apple to my mouth. But I wanted the robot to pick food out of a bowl and that wouldn't quite work with a treadmill. And to be honest, a robot arm is quite a bit cooler than a simple treadmill. When I started working on this machine, I immediately started thinking about a way to pierce the food in the bowl with a fork. I realized attaching the fork to a robot arm would not be enough, as the robot arm wouldn't be strong enough to push the fork into the apple. Here's how it works. The fork is attached to this thing which slides in between this thing and is attached to it with some rubber bands. To load it, another thing pulls this thing to this thing so that the cap opens where this thing can slide into. So jokes aside, a winch pulls the fork back so that the lock can slide into it, preventing it from getting pulled back by the rubber bands. After this, the winch unwinds. The situation that we created is a fork that's constantly being pulled forward by the rubber bands but held back by the lock that slipped into it. So the only thing we now need to do in order to shoot the fork forward is removing the lock. Now that we have a way of picking up the pieces of food, we just put it on a robot arm that uses a suit of gears to tilt and rotate it to a mount. Now let's see if this thing actually works. So, let's turn the robot arm. Uh, it's loading. And it's a piece of apple. So. A little bit of trouble there, but. This one. one. So if you're wondering, wondering, wondering. So if you're wondering how this robot knows that I've taken a bite. It's because of this sensor. When I come close to it, this sensor knows that I'm taking a bite. As soon as I move my head back, it knows that I'm done taking a bite and turns to pick up a new piece of food. <laughs> Two at a time. Oh! So there you have it. I think it worked great. Not every single run it's picked up a piece of apple, but I mean, it's a robot, so I guess it'll do.